The 4 meter amateur band is long range, underrated and friendly. Three terms are put into the thumbnail of this video. It's long range, at times and under the right conditions, because of its position down on 70 MHz, and lower frequencies can often encourage longer ranges, as opposed to the 2 meter band, and I should point out before anybody comments that amazing ranges can be also achieved on 2 meters. It's underrated because it offers a different feel to that of 2 meters and 70 centimeters. I can't quite put my finger on this, but it's more of a technical band, and if you want to learn about 4 meters, then the band itself is the best place. Most of the people on there use converted XPMR equipment, which they've often done themselves. And finally, it's friendly. I suppose because there can be slightly less activity, people make more of an effort to answer calls, and the friendly band was a phase coined by Derek G3NKS, which Ross G6GVI told me about on today's trip to Winter Hill. So let's head out to Matchmore Lane. This is my new favourite spot, and it has a good takeoff at over 300 metres above sea level. Today we'll be calling on the Retivis RT9000D, which is a dedicated 4 meter transceiver. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on 4 meters. This is M3 HHY Mobile, Match More Lane, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. M3 CHY, this is G3 YZQ, G Gold, QRZ, G4 CFB. Okay, there was two stations there, M425, 425, M3 HHY Mobile. This is Frequency News, please, M3HHY Mobile. G4CFP. Okay, there was a G3 and a G4. A G4CFP, Charlie Fox Papa, I think it was. Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Very good afternoon to you. The name's Bill, Bravo India Lima Lima. I'll, I'll let you work your other station, but your lovely signal. Location is the town of Horwich. You can't be too far away. G4CFP, over. Yep, G4CFP, M3HHY Mobile Return. OK, Bill, very good morning, still morning. Uh, yeah, on Match More Lane, so not far at all, a mile or so. So, yeah, a cracking signal up here, as you'd expect. Um, yeah, very good morning to you. Hope you're OK. Great to speak to you for the first time, and thanks for returning the call. OK, the other station, are you on frequency? Yeah, this is Golf 3, Yankee, Zulu, Quebec. Golf number 3, Yankee, Z, Zulu, Q, Quebec, Calford. Yeah, Golf 3, Yankee, Zulu, Quebec, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel, Yankee Mobile. Uh, you're a good signal, 5 and 9, up to match more lane. And then besides Lewis, Lima Echo, Whiskey, India, Sierra. Uh, home QTH is Stockport, but um, come for a drive out with the uh, 4 metre radio this morning. Back to you. Yeah, fine, Lewis. Name is Paul, Tapa, Alpha, Uniform, Lima. Location, as I said, is Telford. Uh, I'm not quite sure your location, a much more lane, it's not my geography I'm afraid, I don't understand where that is, if a bit more information would be handy. Uh, but yeah, your signal is brought also 5.9, five, five yeah, fully quietening, running the mobile rig on the, on the desk at the moment, so about 25 watts to a 5.8 um, vertical. Uh, back to you Lewis, I can't hear the other station by the way, so we're just you and me at the moment here, G3 YZ Yep, G3 YZQ, M3 HHY. I think you said Telford, I missed the name. Um, I think you said Telford, if, if so, that's uh, that's not too oh, bad. So, Match More Lane is on the side of Winter Hill. Um, so, I'm about a mile south of Winter Hill transmitting station. Possibly less, about maybe half a mile. I can see the transmitter off to the left here. So, uh, that's uh, that's the location this side. Thank you. I'm going to cut it short. As I said, I've got stuff to do. And I'm sure you're keen to see what else you can pick up as well. But uh, always nice to make you make the first call. M3HHY Mobile, G3YZQ. Yep, cheerio for now, Lewis. Lewis, it's G4CFP again. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, OK. Are you the Lewis from the video channel, over? Lewis, I did hear you outside. I'm on the Pennytone 8288 handheld. I did put a stroll in the back garden then. You were coming through absolutely marvellously on, on... Yeah, I lost you, Lewis. G4CFP. Very, very good. Five. Five eight. Uh, Stand by, Bill. But obviously the um, rubber duck's not that good for, for distance, so I've popped inside and got you on the main dipole now. Just uh, stand by one sec, Phil. There is a, another station there. Just one sec. And um, Bill, uh, yeah, I am. It's the same, Lewis. Back to you. Yeah, I just want to say, well done, mate. I love yours. I, I, I tend to watch a lot of yours. Really informative. Have a safe trip, mate. You all right? Thanks very much, Bill. Appreciate that. 
Seven three for now. Uh, okay, Phil. I think you said you'd uh, you tried on the handheld with no luck, and you've you've gone back inside. Uh, was that right? M zero KPH M three H H Y M O L. Yeah, Lewis. It, it, it was to an extent. Uh, I popped uh, into the back garden with a handheld, and you were coming through absolutely perfectly. Five seven five eight. Perfectly clear audio, good solid signal, but I just couldn't get back to you on, on the little rubber duck, so I've come into the house. I've got a Comet H422, I think it is V-Dipole, and I've made myself a little matching unit that goes in the coax, so I can operate it on four metres as well, so that's what I'm on at the moment. I'm on the 8288 handout. Yeah, okay, Phil, you, you're, um, you're fully readable, around a signal two, signal three up to... Um... Yeah, no, maybe probably a, a signal four actually up to match more lane uh, and okay on the the setup as well. Yeah, I've got the same handheld. It's a cracking little handheld, and the the antennas. A, a friend of mine this morning, Andy, he, he messaged me about um, he's got his four meter handheld on charge. I forget which one it is now, and um, I said, yeah, just ditch ditch the antenna. It's just virtually impossible to get a decent handheld antenna um, for for four meters um, without it being you know sort of. I've got a few uh, low band VHF aerials at home that were good sort of 12, 16 inch helicals and I think uh, even those were a bit of a push so yeah, um, all, all good Phil, hope you're doing okay, long time uh, long time no speak on the radio at least and yeah you're the third station in the log uh, this morning so that's quite good, uh, back to you. Yeah, it's good to hear you and catch up Lewis, yeah I think we've all been busy doing our various bits and pieces and it's good to hear you and Um, yeah, let's just hope it continues to grow. And OK on Genesis as well. I, I, I must get in, involved. I, I mean, that many group chats on Telegram and WhatsApp, I miss a lot of the messages, so I'll have to get involved in one of the Wednesday night um, activities. That that sounds good, Phil. Um, uh, okay, doke. I'm going to uh, going to say seven three. Just have a, a flick round, see if there's any more stations before uh, before heading back. So cheers for coming back to the call. Uh, great to speak to you again, and uh, we'll catch you further down the log. M zero KPH M three HH Y Mobile. Hotel Fox Trot Fox Trot. I missed the uh, the prefix, but very good morning to you. Uh, great to speak to you for what I think is the first time. The name this side is Lewis Lima Echo Whiskey India Sierra. Call signs Mike Three Hotel Hotel Yankee. And we're on Match Mall Lane on the side of Wind Hill. Back to you. Mike Zero Hotel Fox Trot Fox Trot in Warrington. Uh, we've we've trusted quite a bit on, on YouTube, but it's the first first actual radio contact. Name this end is Eric Over. Yep, OK, Eric, uh, I'm trying to jog my memory. Uh, you might have to uh, give us a clue on that one. But, yeah, uh, very good to speak to you uh, on the radio for the first time, at least. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think you're the, the fourth in the log now, so not a bad morning at all on uh, on uh, Match Mall Lane, four metres, uh, anyhow. Yeah, quite quite impressed this morning. Back to you. Mike's here, Hotel Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Yeah, I know where Match Mall Lane is quite well. I uh, have been up there quite a bit, but not recently. Um... Yeah, we've been, we've been chatting back into mostly about. Um, uh, last, I think last time was about when you're talking about marine band on the freak on the frequencies. Yep, no problem at all. So yeah, the marine marine's quite good. Um, you know, I, I I'm, my home QTH is quite high up, so I get I get um, a lot of the um, well a lot of the comms from Liverpool, and um, obviously the, the the main thing for me is the ships on the ship canal, which. You know, seems to be going from strength to strength, so it's quite interesting to listen to them as, as they pilot from sort of Salford Keys out to Eastern Lock. So yeah, interesting stuff. Back to you. Mike here at Hotel Fox Fox Trot. Anyway, catch you again, Lewis. You take care. Don't get too wet up there, over. Yeah, I'm staying firm, firmly in the car this morning. Uh, the uh, the clouds are rolling over, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll be in the car. So yeah, seven three, and um, we'll catch you further down. Any other stations on frequency this morning? Mike three Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. M3 HHY, very good morning Paul, hope you're okay, hope the holiday was good as well. Yeah, good morning Lewis, uh, cracking signal this morning, really interesting. Um, yeah, it, we had a great time, uh, thank you, very nice indeed, how are you? 
Yeah, very good, thanks, Paul. Hope you're okay and uh, you're sort of uh, coping with the post-holiday blues. I know the feeling. I was in Turkey the other week for a couple of weeks, and yeah, it's always uh, always a shame to come back home, especially when the weather's uh, the weather's changed so much. So, uh, yeah, uh, just on Match More Lane this morning, um, Paul, and I think you're number four, number five, uh, number five. I think you are. At Telford, Warrington, Horwich, and Berry, and then you down in Trafford. Um, so yeah, not too bad at all. Back to you. Yeah, that was all in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Roger. That's uh, good going, isn't it? It's, um, I think it's still on the up uh, four metres, over. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Phil from the uh, Genesis Radio Group, M0KPH, was just saying a few of his um, mates from, from up that neck of the woods have, are all starting to get, get four metre gear. And, um, yeah, these Anitone handhelds seem to be uh, seem to be popular. So I'm just on the Retivis RT9000 this morning. It's a... A mobile mobile radio, and it's um, yeah seems to be doing uh, seems to be doing the trick. I, I've been I've been on it before from Wernerth Low, but I thought I'd try much more this morning. Back to you. From M7 MVF, uh, yeah, well, I think um, I think the popularity of these radios is what's done it, as you say. Um, I mean, at one time it was more of an effort to get onto four, wasn't it? You'd got to sort of convert some uh, you know XPMR gear or something like that. Uh, but it's, uh, it's very easy to get reasonably priced uh, uh, radios that do the job well. I, I'm on the usual uh, Anytone uh, 588, which I've had for well probably about 18 months. But it's um, you know it, it's been excellent. It, it really has. Uh, your radio is sounding great. I say absolutely end stopping uh, with me M7 MBF. Yeah, okay, Paul, you end stopping up here to uh, to match more lane as well. No no problems whatsoever. Okay, Paul, I'll uh, I'll say 7-3. I'm just going to put another couple of calls out before uh, before wrapping up. So cheers for coming back to the call. Great to speak to you again. Uh, it's been been a few months, hasn't it? And um yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll catch you very soon. 7-3 for now and um yeah, speak to you soon, Paul. M7MVF M3HH Y Mobile. Yep, Golf Whiskey Zero, India Sierra Echo, Mike 3, Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. M3, HHY Mobile. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, name here is Jeff, Golf Echo Oscar, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. And the QTH is Broughton, uh, near Airbus, uh, quite close to Chester. Back to you. Yeah, very good morning, Jeff. Hope you're okay. Okay on the QTH as well. Yeah, I know. Uh, know around that neck of the woods, uh, woods very well. So uh, yeah, up near the uh, the Airbus Airbus factory. Hope you're okay. I think it's the first time we spoke, and um, yeah, it's uh, I think you're number six or number seven in the log this morning on four meters. So quite busy. Um, name this size: Lewis Lima Echo Whiskey India Sierra. Back to you, Jeff. Yep. Okay, Jeff. Um, so yeah, you're making the uh, the journey up to Match More Lane, no problem. You're a Signal Five, but fully readable, and okay on the uh, the Tate radio as well. Some some cracking stuff made by Tate. I just uh, thought I'd nip out today on on a whim and see see what was knocking around. And yeah, I think you're uh, number six or number seven now, Jeff, in in the log. And there was another net on four seven five as well, which is which is good. So your antenna's definitely not broke, and you're making the journey up to Match More Lane, no problem. Back to you. Now clear. 
Yeah, great stuff, Jeff. Thanks for the report, and we'll uh, we'll catch you again. Uh, have a good day. Any other stations on frequency M three H H Y Mobile Match More Lane? You're doing well up there, Lewis. G four C F P. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think my luck may be running out though. <laughs> Hello there, uh, Lewis, isn't it? G six G V L A. Yeah, is that you, Ross? It is indeed, yes. Hello there. Would you like to go to uh, 475? It should be clear. We just came off it a little while ago. Yep, 475. Catch you there. Um, 3 is it HHY, G6 GVI. Yeah, G6 GVI, M3HHY Mobile. Very good afternoon, Ross. I think we last spoke about six months ago on, f on 4. Um, so I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I think you're number 7, number 8. I've lost count now, but uh, very good morning on 4 metres this morning. So... Uh, quite happy with that. Uh, as I said, the location is Matchmore Lane, um, which I'm sure you know very well. And um, yeah, the operating uh, setup this side is the Rest of this RT 9000D, and I'm at Mag Mount on the roof of the car. Back to you. Yes, okay. All right. I wonder where you were on the four earlier on. Then we, Dave and I, and also Bill and Horwich were on this uh, channel a little while back. Anyway, fantastic signal. Lovely audio from that uh, TV set as well. Yeah, I'm using an old Tate uh, Crystal control set. This one from the 1970s, I guess. But it's, uh, it's got really punchy uh, audio, both on the uh, receive and uh, on transmit as well, I hope. It. G6 GVI. M3HHY Mobile returning. An OK on the, the radio you're on. Yeah, it, sound, it sounds amazing. Uh, a really good signal, really strong signal up to, uh, up to much more lane. And the audio is absolutely perfect. Um, really, really good, strong um, loud punchy audio, so yeah, it's uh, it's sounding good. Yeah, the rest the the rest of it I'm on is, uh, is is not a bad radio at all. Uh, not a bad radio at all, Ross. It, it does the job. Um, do have a handheld, um, but didn't bring that out today. Just thought I'd uh, stick to the mobile and see what we could get. And yeah, luckily there's quite a few stations on. So yeah, not not a bad day for it, um, Ross. Back to you. Well, smashing good. Well, I'm glad you had uh, you caught Bill as well because. Bill's a little bit unsure about his four-metre uh, station. He keeps sort of wavering about whether to take the aerial down again or not. But uh, I think he has um, noise level issues. Some days it's uh, it's noisier than others. Yes, I was using my four-metre handheld yesterday, which is an old Motorola. Uh, great big handheld by modern standards, but uh, it works well. And I have a quarter-wave telescopic. And a fairly recent addition is a little um, quarter-wave counterpoise as well, which... Uh, hangs down underneath the set, and that makes a huge uh, difference to its performance uh, when using it handheld. G6 GVI. G6 GVI, M3HHY Mobile. Okay, Ross, yeah, okay on the Motorola um, cracking. I, I, I did have, well, I, I think I've got a, um, a, a low-band uh, Motorola. It's, it's sort of based around the HT600 and HT800 radios. Um, I can't remember the actual model of it. And I've got some, um, some Pi... Uh, low band um, handhelds as well, which which are just dying to be converted, but it's a little bit out of my technical uh, technical scope, so uh, that might have to be something for another day. But um, I was saying to another station before, I uh, I rescued a um, a complete low band VHF setup from a company which had a repeater, base stations, handhelds, and everything, and um, yeah, it could all it's all crystal controlled. It could all be converted. Four. Okay, Ross. Well, I'll say seven three. I'm going to put just a, one or two more calls out before heading home. But cheers for coming back. Uh, great to speak to you again, and um, yeah, we'll catch you further down the log. Uh, G6 GVI M3 HH Y Mobile. Okay, final call. Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee. Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. Match more lane. Any stations on four? Yeah, well, there's definitely stations on four, but do you want to talk to you? <laughs> this is G0 MPI loud and clear. Uh, G0 MPI M3 HHY 475. Uh, very good afternoon. Uh, yeah, just gone afternoon. Hope you're okay. I think you're number nine in the log this morning. So there is a few out there that want to speak, but the rest of them might not want to. Back to you. <laughs> they might be out and about, actually. Fair dues. Um, yeah, loud and sick. The loud signal. My name's John. <coughs> Location's Earl and so from Moritz. So it's basically uh, line of sight. <laughs> There's nothing in the way except uh, a couple of trees and I think the roof of a bungalow. There's a PMR band next to the uh, 77s, uh, the 446 PMR band, which uh, is beginning to develop a bit of, like um, 27, 27 meg CB. Um, the other night I uh, was uh, listening on there, and on Channel 6 uh, there was guys having a big shout out. They were calling it the 8 to late net, <laughs> and they were shouting in anybody with these PMR radios. So this is on 77s, effectively. 
And, uh, you know, there was somebody up on Winter Hill, there was somebody up on Stoke-on-Trent, some on another, on another hill, there was people all over the place shouting in, just giving names and locations. And it was surprising how far the thing went. <laughs> She's here, MPI, M3HH, Wham Mobile. Well, actually, John, I, I actually set up the uh, the Manchester group for that. So, the uh, yeah, it was a Sunday night, 8, eight to 8 net, um, and Channel 8 just seemed to get swamped. Um, so, a lot of the time they do it on Channel 6 now. But, yeah, that was something I, I, I sort of um, rolled out across Manchester, and it's just grown from strength to strength. We did the first net. Um, I was sort of like the net controller for, for want of a... a a less nerdier term and um we had i think it was 44 stations in the in the log in in around half an hour it was unbelievable and yeah like you say you listen to 70 centimeters and it's dead and then 446 is just heaving and the, if you listen around in the evenings there's regular nets on those nights and the the uh the guys from the group also do a tech sort of like a tech net on a thursday night where they test equipment and antennas and stuff so yeah the interesting bit with that is there's a lot of people that have come off come on there from cb and then there's the uh, the huge number of people that are just radio enthusiasts, and then a lot of licensed stations go on there as well, which is which is good. And a lot of, a lot of people, because we, we we sort of run a Facebook group, a lot of people they go on there, and then they they go in for the amateur radio exam, which which of course teaches them the uh, the etiquette and the you know the correct operating procedure. So it's brilliant. It's uh, yeah, four four six is always. Um, always uh, sort of an underrated band and for, for someone trying to get into the hobby who who may not want to jump into the license yet i think it's perfect so yeah it's uh, it's busy back to you so a great morning on four meters with a good number of contacts made and a nice longer range trip down into telford if you want to learn more about four meters i'll post some of my videos at the end of this one and i hope this encourages you to get out there and try the friendly band